About my decibel meter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when it first started, right? <laughs> well, BJ Sachs, thank you so much. Oh, but that, that's supposed to be you introducing him, but don't well, get jealous. No, Max. Yes. Of course. You know who that you know who that person is. Actually, his real name is Bolaji Banjoko. But you all know him as BJ Sachs. But is that is that Banjoko or Benjoko? It's Banjoko. Oh, yeah, just just so. Thank you. You're very, you were very quick very to fast. very quick to, to, to correct him. <laughs> Thank you very much, BJ Sachs, and you are one of the finest in the land, as far as we know. It's okay to blush. <laughs> it's not a sin. Well, yes, I'm doing that already. Yeah. And he's the convener of BJ Sachs Live, an annual gospel concert, which he could not hold last year, by the way, for obvious reasons. But let me surprise you. BJ Sachs is a mechanical engineer. Oh, yes. Do you use the mechanics of on the other side? Well, huh. okay. Well, have you even used that certificate before? Well, for two days. I worked for two days. <laughs> two days? <laughs> Where? At um, airplane servicing company. So why did you run away after two days? It wasn't. It wasn't working. What do you mean it wasn't? Okay, working? so I was I was BJ Sachs before then. So I finished. After seven, I um, got a job, but I was I didn't want to do the job. But my first two days at the job, I was just 100% sure that this is not for me. Wait. So you yeah. ran away? After two days. Hold on. You didn't even give yourself time. Uh, two I was, days. I was, I was very sure. I was 100%. How, how old were you at the time? I think I was 21 or 22. <laughs> this is 20 oh. year old. 20 something year old. Oh, they don't know that decision I made was good. If not, I won't be here today. Oh, you could be as a... But you could have been doing that job and be playing your sax as Funny well. Funny enough, playing saxophone is not... Being a musician is not easy. I actually work every day. And when I mean every day. So the time and everything wasn't going to work together. Okay. I have... In fact, we have to force ourselves to take vacations because of the very busy schedule. So people don't understand that. people ask us what do we do monday to friday we actually have work monday to friday we have things we have to do aside from ourselves we have programs we have things that we need to do so it's a lot of time you know you have you're going to have to tell us what these things are that you have apart from rehearsing there are other things you have to yes, do so such it's, as it's a system we have an office we have staff aside band members we have representatives that attend meetings we have um, receptionists. We have they attend team. meetings regarding what? Regarding events. So okay. when there's an event, there's going to be a pre-event meeting. They call it vendors meeting. So you know what this person is doing, what that person is doing. There's an accountant that pays the band, that manages the flow of funds in and out. For example, if a band is, let me just give you this um, example. If we have a band of seven or eight thereabouts, and you do four gigs in a week, at the end of the week, you're going to pay them per gig, per event. You understand? And as simple as it sounds, it can be very, very tedious. And you can't do all that by you yourself. Can't, I can't do all that by myself. I can't, I can't be on stage and take calls from people that want to make inquiries all by myself. Some would say, uh. you, you, you young people, you've been talking about technology. Don't answer that one. Okay. You know, um, <laughs> so, um, I, I just want to ask this. Um, how much... Well, we've talked about the administration yes. of what you do. But how much work goes into the operation of it? Now, you, you, when you, because, I mean, it so, sounds so simple when you say um, you go for a gig. You know? <laughs> That's why I have, by going to the details. <laughs> you know, so I, I'm asking that because, I mean, uh, Alero would also confirm, we've seen your consistency in the, uh, in the trajectory over time. Consequently, uh, BJ Sachs has not just become a product, but a brand. Mm -hmm. Definitely, quite some work has gone into the 
operations of your activities. Give us an idea of the discipline it takes and where some may have missed it in, okay. in getting the same thing done. Okay, you see, we are, we are, we are creatives. You know, and because we are creatives, we have to create time to create. Now, for every gig in court, there's a sound system and there's the quality. No matter how good I am, if whatever is amplifying my sound is not good enough, quality. They'll call La Sepa. So sound, sometimes sound, enjoying music is not about the loudness, it's about the quality of sound. It's never about the loudness, it's I, never pro about I promise the you. It's just about the quality. Mm. And to get that quality, there are a lot of things that need to go in place. There's the time factor, you probably need to set up a night before, make sure that you sound check, make sure that you check the decibels of sound so that you're not... Personally, as an artist, when I'm playing and I see someone frowning, it turns me off. Mm. Because you're meant to enjoy my music. So if my music is inconveniencing you, then... I'm no. not doing the right thing. No, no. So everything needs to be gotten right. Do so you have your own equipment? Yes, I do. All the way? Yes. So to maintain okay. that quality for every, except it's a performance, where oh, all the sound system has been sorted, you just get there. And even at that time, you need to go and do your sound. Check. Yeah. But I'm, I, I was asking, when I ask about the uh, operations I'm talking about, Kiki, before a gig, what are the things that the real performers on stage do? Before the gig, you have to rehearse. And rehearsal, my personal rehearsal is different from the rehearsal with the band. So we have to rehearse with the band. Each event has its own peculiarity. What is the event about? What kind of music are you playing? Mm. If it's a burial, you can't go and jump up and, you know, it's a burial who died, this person young, this person old, what religion? There are so many things to consider. Mm. You understand? Um, even after considering those things, the event venue that you are, is are they comfortable, are they settled? You don't expect people to come into the event and start dancing immediately. Psychologically, it takes people a while to settle down before you, you know, begin to take the tempo. Uh, there are so many things that go. Yeah. You can't go to an event where people are hungry. Oh and, yeah, you can. And begin you to play, just and begin to play a kind of music. You just yeah. play to yourself. Mm. You, you know. Um, so, so, so you when, have your own band. Oh yes. Okay. Mm. Now I, 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 I'll also like that. Some would say, wait a minute, BJ Sax, what musicians? They just play other people's music. So what's the big deal? There's a big deal. There's a big deal because I'm a saxophonist. We do covers, but we have our originals, our original arrangements that people tend to, we tend to force some people. Force some people because around here, people are used to listening to known songs. Yes, so when you're playing an instrumental of something they've not heard before, then you have to really do it right. So we have to make it sweet. Play patterns that are easily, um, that are easily, uh, that, that is easy to assimilate. That's why you play pam, 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 pam. You understand? In a few of those kind of things, you put them together and, you know, it's always awesome. Hmm. Is that uh, where the idea of BJ Sachs Life came from? Oh, yes. So BJ Sachs Life came from the fact that we felt my style, I play gospel jazz. And um, in that space, I wanted a situation whereby people can come. It's not a comedy show, it's a music show. People can come and enjoy music. Originals, covers, for myself and a few other people, come together, enjoy good music, we praise God, and go home blessed. So where is BJ Live taking place tomorrow? So, BJ Sachs Live is tomorrow, and it's actual and virtual. Uh -huh. And... <laughs> 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 you know. okay, actual and virtual, before we come to that imp very important question mm. of your goalie, mm. um, actual and virtual means you're going to have live events, yes. live event. Yes. are you, you going to have people in the hall? Yeah, just you? a very few people because very of few. the situation around and the numbers, yeah. approved numbers and all those things. We try to make sure that we follow the rules and regulations of the country. So yeah. we have very few people. I'm going to ask... COVID. 
yeah, protocols. protocols. Yeah. Protocols. Yeah. So is that in any way saying that the cost of attending virtually is different from the cost of attending actually? Sure. If you want to be there, real life, yeah. then <laughs> equally, <laughs> equally. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. Tell us now. So well sold out already. So oh, okay. The yeah, so only just, option. Just for our information. For your information, the only option available is to join us virtually. Okay. We have our supporters and people that sponsor the events, and those are the only people that are allowed to attend. Okay. You understand? So every other person can join virtually, actually for free, because the people attending actually have paid for them, so people can watch. They've from, covered your cost. Yes, they can okay. watch from all over the world. But you ah, see, for free? it's not free. Well, How can you spend data? Yeah, well. Um, well. You will spend your data anyway. You spend your data for watching. So, what about free? those who want to join you virtually, Jerry? So, what do they have to do? Where do they have to go? So, you can join us online, mm -hmm. BJ Sachs on, on, on YouTube. You can join us live. BJ Sachs. Yes. So, just search BJ Sachs on YouTube oh. and join us. That's it. Stephanie. So simple. Oh. Quite I was simple. going to start writing. <laughs> yeah. There's no need to write. I, I, I'm going to ask you this. BJ Sachs know. on YouTube. And yeah. the other platforms can you can check on our social media. Hmm. Check on Instagram. On Instagram, on Facebook. Facebook. Other platforms are there. Hmm. There is a difference between instrumental and jazz, yes or no? Jazz is heavy use of instruments. So it depends on how you look at it. Jazz itself is the heavy use of instruments. So jazz is a style. Now the content, that's what you're saying or what you're passing across with the music, is what makes it either gospel or... No, 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 there, there are yeah. some that say, yeah. that say that it's a, a, you know, playing instrumental music and playing jazz music are two different things. Maybe yeah. you want to, you don't agree? I don't agree with that. So there's traditional jazz. Traditional jazz is a lot, is what we do play instrumental of traditional music you understand so if i'm in india for example no, i'm not in india if I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> let's take a oh, short no, you're break not, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a short break we'll be back for the concluding part of the program do stay with us Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. BJ Sachs is still here with us. And I just asked him a question. I said, mechanical engineering, that would have cost his parents quite a tidy sum. Mm -mm. And mm -mm. he... I'm Martin. And he decides that he wants to go and play the sax. In fact, my what dad wanted your... me to be a professor. Ah, bro. I'm serious. He wanted me to be a professor. You can be a professor of this. Yeah, so I'm a professor of already. Well, what did your mother say? Okay, so um, they were supportive at first, but when they saw that ah, every time saxophone, saxophone, they. Uh, but then you were coming, man. So I had to make sure that I sorted that part. I made sure I read and I passed at least, you know. But because I started playing from secondary school, oh dear. we are built. So before I finished the university, BJ Sax was everywhere already. So I had results to prove that. I can actually go on doing this. So, and that was how, if not, I don't know what will be happening <laughs> by now. But they were very supportive, very, very supportive. Because they knew I was, I won awards from saxophone playing. Before you before, graduated? Before, yes. Now, you wow. also know, we're, we're, I know we're, we're drawing closer to the end. You also know that there are many, many much younger people than you now who want to get into music. And um, they're so blinded by it, they don't probably don't have the right culture, uh, or they do have the culture. I don't know. What would you be telling any one of them right now? Who wants to go into music, do nothing else but music? Sixteen years old, seventeen years old, okay. eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one years old at the time that you started, but. And what are those things that they need to, to have? Move. Thank you. And oh, they need oh, to know first oh, before oh. they even They need to understand change. that there's a process. And the process is not the same for everybody. You understand? It's also very important to know that you have to find strategies to put food on the table. You're telling a 16-year-old about strategy? Yeah. Reason being that, you see, we all, we all see life early these days. When we talk about saying like, for me, whatever I was getting from home wasn't enough. So I needed extras. So this was what I was using to get the extra. So a lot of us, even 
the younger ones now. You want, we call it side hustle. You understand? So, whether you like it or not, education is very important. It is very, very important. For me, one of the things that have helped my saxophone play is going to school because the way I run my business is different. It's totally different. There are things that, directly or indirectly, studying mechanical engineering has impacted and I'm using that in my business. You understand? So, just know your process and education is very, very, very important. But it's, it's one thing to have the yeah. education, it's another thing to use it all together. I mean, the kind of an error, you know, we talk about this quite a few uh, times. The, the quality of education that people get, yes. uh, how does it even get into their subconscious to automate it? I don't even want to start that. You know how they say, draw a cockroach. <laughs> and don't even let me, I'll use mechanical engineering where we all have to draw whatever it is, but we don't know. We've not seen what we're drawing. So we'll probably look at the textbook and see whatever is there and try to draw it. We don't know what it looks like. Mm. So later on in life, some of those processes, when you see them, you just look back and say, why? <laughs> why? What's going on? Why? You understand? Mm. So it's uh, education and all this is another topic entirely that if we start now Certainly. we will not even end it. So but, but the long and short of it is that your advice is whatever it is you want to do education it's is the basis important. you need yes. to get that education yes. out of the way yes. and then you can go into your hobby or side hustle or whatever, whatever it, is. it is. Music, we've had lawyers and it's not just music, musicians, you know, if you are... we've had surveyors who've been musicians, but they made sure that they got that pali first. It's very important. So the pali is very, very important. Very, very important. Even though people say that Nigeria is a country of palis. <laughs> well, if you want to go out and look for a job tomorrow, what you're going to use to get that job your is pali. your pali. Uh -oh. Well, um, a BJ Sachs. Um, uh, one second, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he's behaving like an old man. Yeah, I want to thank you very much, young man, for uh, you, for being here. Thank uh, you, sir. I want to uh, wish you the best. Uh, in, uh, BJ Sachs tomorrow. BJ Sachs uh, live. Tomorrow. BJ Sachs uh, live. The live tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, Grandpa. It is virtual and actual. Oh, yes, yes, Grandpa. Thank you, darling. So, yes, Grandpa. Um, you want to play that uh, sax before we get out of here. Grandpa, don't well, forget to send our support. I'm phone. Grandpa, I'm not Father. So <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was going to make you stop this Grandpa <laughs> thing. Thank you, thank you, for thank, you. Thank, thank you Thank you. Okay. You will play us out after right. we have signed off for today. Right. And that DJ Sachs closes our program for today. I'm Alero Edu, wishing you all the best. And we'll see you again next week with a fresh edition. Stay well, stay safe. Amaya Makine, have a wonderful weekend. Thank <laughs> you.